Our purse sane vessels harvest three pelagic species wild caught anchovy, round herring, and pilchard. Although the anchovy in South African waters vary slightly in appearance, the raw material is exactly the same in composition as anchovy of other origins. Fish stocks are monitored by the Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, with South Africa being one of the few countries where all landings are recorded by independent government representatives at the factory or quay. This ensures that overfishing is prevented and non-quota species are not being targeted. Protecting our marine resources is important, not only to secure our livelihood, but also to ensure its future availability. This also gives our customers the confidence that we can deliver an ongoing supply. Pioneer Fishing obtains raw material from the ocean without compromising the sustainability of the reserves. Striving to minimize our ecological impact on the environment, we subscribe to independent assessments to ensure certification of our products as responsibly sourced. This includes complying with all national and international environmental conservation policies and regulations relevant to our industry. Reducing fuel consumption and operating modern energy efficient equipment reduces our carbon footprint, while the per seine fishing method has a low impact on the marine environment, allowing seals, dolphins and other non-targeted species to exit our nets unharmed. Fish meal and fish oil are processed from January to October at our processing plant in St. Helena Bay. The facility includes the fish meal and fish oil factory, a pilchard cannery, an ice plant as well as engineering and mechanical workshops. Fish is landed at our company-owned pier near the plant. By using sophisticated offloading technology, the time between landing and processing is minimized. To keep the raw material in the best condition, we manage the catch effort so that it never exceeds the plant's capacity. Manufacturing the fish meal and fish oil is conducted in controlled processes, with sanitary working conditions a main concern from the fishing waters to the finished products. No exceptions are tolerated when it comes to upholding the rules of safety that protect our employees, as well as the end consumers of our fish meal and fish oil. Simplified, the process of producing steam-dried fish meal and fish oil consists of cooking, pressing, separating, drying and milling to separate the three main components of the raw material solid protein, fat, and water. Once the raw fish has been offloaded directly from the vessel through the pump system into the fish pits, it is sent straight to the screw conveyors, which feed the fish to the cooker. With the use of indirect steam, the fish is cooked at 90 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. The thermal treatment to coagulate and sterilize the raw material also determines the quality and fat content of the fish meal and fish oil. While our factory is modern and automated, our operators monitor every aspect of this process on a 24-hour watch. The cooked fish is pressed to separate the liquid from the solids. The liquid is called press liquor and consists of oil and water. The solids are now called a press cake consisting of semi-moist meat and bone. The press cake is forwarded to the steam dryer to further reduce the moisture content. At this time, the product is also sterilized. This indirect heating process is used to retain as much nutritional value from raw material as possible. Decanters remove fine solids from the press liquor and separators split the liquor into fish oil and a liquid called stick water. The stick water is sent to waste heat evaporators, which use the waste heat from the dryers to evaporate water and form a concentrate. By using waste heat instead of steam, we save a significant amount of energy. 
The concentrate from the waste heat evaporators is mixed with the press cake and decanter solids before entering the dryer. Inside the dryer, this mixture's moisture content is reduced to below 10%. After three to four hours, the fish meal leaves the dryer at a minimum of 80 degrees Celsius before being transported to the hammer mills. Pioneer Fishing produces a full-body fish meal by using all the components of the fish. It results in a superior product that has a higher water-soluble protein content compared to fish meal that is produced by using only the press cake. The fresh meal is conveyed to the sanitized bagging plant where it is packaged directly into 50 kilogram bags. As Pioneer Fishing has the capacity to realize the full potential of our raw materials and extract the maximum value from our processing plant, our fish oil undergoes the same rigorous quality controls as our fish meal. After the press liquor has been separated into fish oil and stick water, the oil is allowed to settle in conical tanks to remove any impurities. The oil is stored in tanks until it's pumped into flexi-tank containers for transportation. When it is time to load a consignment, another meticulous sampling process is conducted by the independent SGS agent at the site where the oil is pumped into the flexi-tank. To guarantee accuracy, samples are taken at an ongoing rate throughout the loading procedure and then sent to SGS for the final examination. Trading with Pioneer Fishing is to take part in a mutually beneficial commercial relationship where trust is built and trading risks are minimized.